Hello everybody, welcome back to Simulated Heaven and welcome back to Warehouse and Logistics Simulator. I believe this game is called also Fortlifter 2014 because that is the name on the icon for the game. Um, I apologise I didn't have a video yesterday, I was kind of busy. I tried actually recording this video yesterday but the sound of the whiny forklift was kind of covering up my voice even though I had the volume really low so now I literally have the volume on like 1% it's really that bad um, anyway I already have done a video for this one so I'm gonna do this one today high bay warehouse okay standard game task one there are at the delivery entries pallets that need to be brought to the buildings within the specified time bring the respective pallets to the locations in the delivery building try not to damage the goods while driving otherwise you will lose points and we are in a slightly different forklift which to be fair actually looks quite nice it does actually look quite well modeled so here we go now, as per usual, we need to go to the red. There should be a red dot. And oopsie, and I was looking at the dots, and I did not see where I was going. So, we need to go to the red dot first, and then we'll go to the blue dot. The red dot is to pick up, and the blue dot is to drop off. Now, it'll be interesting to see if there is any variation in this game. Now. For like a forklift simulation game, to be fair, it's quite hard for you to have any kind of variation. But the other forklift game that I played, which is called Fork Truck Challenge, the game that I made a video on a while back, which I got from Desiora, I believe. Now, that was a game that they actually kind of mixed it up by having slightly different loads, if you know what I mean. This view is actually not bad, as I can still see inside. Um, yeah, so that was, you know what, I need to, whoops, I need to back up. I'm all over the place here. Yeah, so it would be interesting in this game to see if they do a similar thing. Try to vary this game by varying the types of loads that you Oh, stop. Right. So you can actually move the forks like this. It's still not enough for me to be able to. Come on. There you go. There you go. Okay. So I believe I need to do the whole tipping back thing. Slowly go out. Like so. Now, they look quite precarious on there, don't they? I hope it doesn't fall off. It's looking like it is going to fall off. Anyway, I think we'll be alright dragging it on the floor like this because it's only over here that we need to take it. But yeah, it'll be interesting in this game to see if they do a similar thing to vary it by having slightly different loads that require you to use slightly different kind of methods in order to pick up. That was quite easy because it was on the floor, you see. Should have maybe lifted it off the floor, but like I said, it was quite easy. So I should have. Oh, oh, oh! It's over there. So I don't think I need to do the same again. But in this game, I've only seen the only thing I've seen is a change in the forklift that you use, which is kind of good. But I've only had to lift. Um, I've only had to lift. Boxes. That's all I've had to lift. Mm, like there's been no variation in that. So yeah, we'll, it'll be interesting to see. I think I'm going to do this video and one more video. And if there's no more variation in the game, I think I'm just going to leave it at that. To be honest, because you know, I'm sure that you guys don't want to see the same thing in this game again and again. If all it is is boxes. I mean, the change in the 
the actual forklift is really nice, but it's not that much of a big change, is it, really? To be fair, right, so I believe we're going back over Yes, we are. It still seems like it's on there, fine. It's not falling off or anything, that's good. And it's kind of annoying that you can actually drive into people. Like, why even have these these people walking around if you can just drive into them? I mean, that kind of baffles me, really. Because you would have thought... Whoops. I need to go a bit more that way. Because you, yeah, you would have thought, wouldn't you, that they would, if they're going to have people in the game again... Uh, three. Um, you would have thought if they're going to have these people in the game that they would actually have a purpose, you know, so it makes it more interesting that you have to avoid the people, but, it, you know, they actually walk through you. The people actually walk through you on purpose. And this guy is just standing right here. You see, look, they just walk right through you. It has no meaning whatsoever, which is kind of a shame. Oops, I forgot I'm a bit high. Am I low enough now? Uh, not quite, actually. There we go. Okay, let's lift this baby back. Lift her up a little bit. Wow, that looks precarious. I think that's going to fall off and explode at some point. I'm going to keep an eye on it. I hope this is not a high one, but I think it is. I have a feeling this is a high one. And if I have to lift this off the ground, I think it's going to fall off quite badly. So what I'm going to do it is a high one. So what I'm going to do is use the, the shelving here to try to re reposition like this. There you go. There you go. That should be okay. Up, oh, yeah, that is perfect. It's not falling off, it's not doing anything silly. There you go. So, I think we're high enough now, are we? Yeah, just. What, 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 Stop. Right, put it down. Forward a bit, there you go. Oh, wow, there you go. Congratulations, you have successfully completed the task. Points for time bonus 13,000. Continue with the next task. So, this is standard game task two. There, there are in the delivery building pallets that need to be loaded onto the trucks. Within the specified time, bring the respective pallets to the locations at the shipping entrance. Try not to damage the goods while driving. We know that. So it says, oh, but it's the same thing. Is it the exact same thing? Why am I stuck here? Yeah, it's the exact same thing again, look, guys. Exactly the same. Because it said trucks, I kind of got excited, but it's the exact same thing. Because all these things here are trucks, right? Oops, oh, so I need to load it. What? Oh, yeah, sorry. I need to take an item from here and load it into the truck. So it's the exact same thing, but the other way around. So it's not really doing much to it. And again, it's, it's a pallet. It's not a box, but it seems like everything is on a pallet. So if everything's on a pallet, it is pretty much exactly the same. Any, anyway, so yeah, not much variation to be fair, whoopsie, there we go, lift it back, I am becoming a pro at this, <laughs> it's really not that hard, okay, now I suppose when you're loading back into the trucks, that the 
loading is quite easy because of the fact that you're just basically having to place it on the floor. Anytime you have to load anything up high, it becomes a bit harder for you to do. Because it's more likely for it to freak out and fall off. I kind of feel like as well that they make it a bit too easy because you don't have to actually place anything perfectly back. Like, it will give you the green box. Oops. It will give you the green box. What is going on here? Oh, maybe I was pressing the wrong button. There you go. It will give you the green box quite easily, if you know what I mean. I feel like maybe it should be a bit harder there, you know? Things ought to maybe need to be positioned a little bit easier, maybe. I mean, a little bit harder, maybe, I don't know. But, like, I find it kind of crazy that the regular price for this game is like $19.99. I think it used to be, but I would love to have a look at it now. I'm wondering if it maybe has gone down. The regular price, because I, uh, the only reason I bought this really was because I found it on offer, and it was on offer whoopsie, for I think I bought it for like three US, something like that. Because of course, I mean, I saw I saw this game for a long, long time, and I was like, there's no way I'm going to be paying the, the full amount for this game. Because I had a feeling it would be like this, to be honest. It's like, so I kind of feel they need to make the regular price cheaper. Because there's not really a lot in this game, is there, so far? But anyway. It might surprise us. It might have a mission where it throws us something completely different. I don't know. See, look. It's given me the green box even though it's only half in place i don't know i feel that's a bit too kind of lax whoops I'm trying to put this thing down no, put it down there you go. oh so we need to place something next to so that that might be interesting actually okay and we got something high up to pick up whoopsie we got something high up to pick up at least, which makes it a bit more interesting, and it's high up like that. Not much, but a bit. We just crash into a shelf because we can. Why not? Right. Because I think the Desure forklift challenge was quite cheap, wasn't it? Oh dear. That, that's not a good start. Oops. It was, a, I think it was only $4.99. And I, and I kind of feel like that's a good price for this kind of game. Uh oh, this is not looking good, guys. Because look at that. That is precarious. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that is precarious. Okay, I might have to adjust that on the wall or something. Because that's not I'm sure that this is this is what they do in real life, right? I think there was a guy who commented on the first video saying that he actually does this in real life, so I'm sure he'll if he sees this video, we're like, yeah, that's exactly what we do in real life. We use the wall to <laughs> Now this is where, actually it seems to be okay, I was kind of worried. In this game when you have to move something from high to low or vice versa, the physics, if it's not on exactly right, it will start freaking out, you know. I don't think the physics are that well made, you know. Okay. I think this might be okay. I don't know. The other thing is kind of in the way. Is it going to give me the green box? No, it's not. So to be fair, oh, 
Oopsie. Okay. So this makes it a bit harder, to be fair. So this has been my first thing why I've acted why I feel like I actually have to think about it a bit more. Now, because the other one is finished, I might be able to just push the other one out of the way, because that one is now finished. That kind of mission is finished, right? So maybe it will let me just push it out of the way. Maybe it won't, I don't know. This is, this is kind of getting kind of messed up slightly. Let's try to push this out of the way. Is it going to even let me push it out of the way? Not really. I think it's a bit... I think it's okay now. I mean, I think it's in a position. But now, I don't think there's any way to get this back. I think this is now going to break. Yep. <laughs> it exploded. Okay, let's see if we can push this again. Because we don't care about this one. Because this one is now finished. So, I think now we should be able to place it. So... That is, you know, something vaguely interesting. It means that I need to at least place things more carefully because it might have that where I need to place something right next to it. So, you know, forces me to be a bit more, you know, careful with the placement of things. So that's good, I suppose. See, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to go the other way, and now it's gonna. Is it gonna mess up? See, I don't like this. I don't know why. Whenever you have things high up, it glitches out like that. It's, well, I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm kind of doing it wrong, but I always can't seem to be able to pick up the things that are high up without it like hanging on the end of the forks like that. I don't know. Maybe I need to like lift it up first before I try to tilt it, maybe? <laughs> See? Like a boss. Okay. See? And it's now starting to... S oh, no, it's not. I thought it was, like, sliding off, but it's not. Okay, we should be good now, because I managed to push the other one out of the way. You see, if it was really good, it would kind of recognise that the other one is out of place, if you know what I mean. And it would maybe force me to make sure they were, that both of them are in place. There we go. Oh. Okay. Trying to be a bit lazy there. There we go. There you go. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to leave it there, guys. And like I said... I'll maybe make one more video, and after that, if the game doesn't really change that much, I think that that'll be the last video that I have on this game. But, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.